friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a heart cataract nuclear sclerosis in this case is either grade 4 plus or grade 5 by this time the main incision on paracentesis on the left side of the main incision have been made the anterior capsule has been stained with trypan blue dye viscoelastic substance has been injected into the anterior chamber now the anterior capsule is incised with a 26 case band needle and a capsular tag is raised. I hold this capsular tag with a uterra forceps go anticlockwise and try to do a do an adequate sized rexis. But here I find that the rexis is becoming small. So I go to periphery and do this rexis. Though it is not a circular rexis, it is an adequate sized rexis. Hydrodissection is done at multiple points. Capsulocortical additions are broken. The nucleus is tapped and the nucleus is mobilized and rotated. Now Viscoelastic substance is again injected and now we are going to manage this hard nucleus. Don't wish it were easier. Wish you were better. Don't wish for less problems. Wish for more skills. Don't wish for less challenges. Wish for more wisdom. This is a quote from Jim Rohn, a famous American motivational speaker. And let us see how we can conquer this nucleus. The technique I am showing is submarine chop. It the faculty moves through the substance of the nucleus like a submarine. Here it is. The tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus, goes through the nucleus with full energy, about 85% ultrasonic energy, and the nucleus is chopped in this way. Yes. And the nucleus has been divided completely into two halves. Now each hemineucleus is again subdivided into two pieces. Friends, if you don't have access to a femtolaser which can soften this kind of hard nucleus, don't be afraid. Just increase your skills and conquer these cases very comfortably. Each nuclear piece is tilted in such a way that uh, you can start emulsifying each nuclear piece from its apex. FECO power used in this case is 85%. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute. And vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. Yes. The nucleus is being nicely managed. And this is the last nuclear piece. Start emulsifying from the apex. Take care that the apex doesn't go posteriorly and hit 
the posterior capsule. Yes. See, there is no epinucleus because in such cases the epinucleus is incorporated into the nucleus. And now cortical cleanup, whatever little bit of cortex is there is being removed by this Simco cannula. I made only one side port. So I'm using this instrument a 23 goes Simco. And now this is hydro polish. Hydro polish means the posterior capsule is being polished by the fluid jets of the irrigating probe. Now in this case we have selected a hydrophobic monofocal foldable intraocular lens and here goes the lens in the capsular bag. The leading haptic goes into the capsular bag and the trailing haptic is pushed into the capsular bag by the left hand instrument. Now whatever visco was there in the lumen of the cartridge is irrigated out using the irrigating probe of bimanual IA. The lens is dialed by the irrigating probe itself. The capsular bag is also irrigated. And now little bit of moxifloxacin is injected into the anterior chamber and then the corneal stroma on either side of the stab incision is hydrated so that these paracentesis gets closed. And this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. So we are towards the end of the surgery. The anterior chamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded. The integrity of the wounds are checked. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Don't wish it were easier. Wish you were better.